Hi guys, it's me Kimberly. We are here in Oakville designing a great room for Aziza. In this week's project, we had an unusual challenge. The husband had bought three leather sofa, a sofa set actually, leather sofa set, Italian leather, extremely expensive, $10,000, that the wife absolutely hated. Does this sound familiar to you? Well, it happens in a lot of homes and uh, because they spent so much money, understandably, they could not change the sofa. When the sofa set came into the home, it did not meet their expectations. Uh, clearly, they wanted something that was well finished, well designed, and super powerful. This home is absolutely gorgeous. And the, our architectural features are just beautiful. So what they decided to do was to fix it. They enhanced the room by adding wallpaper and a new rug. The challenge with that was, well, it was twofold. First of all, they spent $1,400 on a wallpaper feature wall and it did not match the carpet that they had. Uh, the whole room still looked completely not tied together and the couple was not happy. And also, unfortunately, they were fighting with each other because one loved the wallpaper, one didn't, one bought the sofas, one hated them, and we were then called in. My first task was furniture placement. The furniture placement was definitely wrong. They had a love seat and chair against one wall and the sofa against the window. We had to change this up. We had to create a room where it was more of a conversation area. People could gather easily. Uh, There's still a walkway into the room and just a little bit more cohesive and tied together. Next task was the feature wall. The husband absolutely hated the wallpaper and the wife absolutely loved it. So what I decided to do was to tone it down with a big mirror and some mirrored wall sconces. This added some interest to the wall and it also toned down that patterned wallpaper. Absolutely perfect. Another reason why we chose these mirrored wall sconces and the mirror in behind me is that they had two existing pre-chandeliers that the builder had provided with the home. Uh, they are crystal dangles, which is exactly what we have in our wall sconces. The mirror does reflect the outside, so when it's nice and bright, we get the reflection in here, or at night, we get the reflection of the chandeliers. So now this room is tied together, it's light and airy, and it, it utilizes the natural light in this space. The room is really big, really wide, so we used a 10 by 13 carpet, which was awesome. It tied everything in together. Um, our budget was not big for this space, unfortunately, since they spent so much money on everything else. So we chose four side tables and two coffee tables joined together to make one big square one. A lot of you have really big rooms, over 12 feet wide, and um, coffee tables typically don't come any larger than 45 inches. So putting two rectangular coffee tables together really solves the problem. Because budget was an issue in this project, I just, I'm happy to say that we did all of this for just under $4,000. That includes the carpet, two coffee tables, four side tables, some lamps, uh, accessories, pillows, everything that we needed to tie this room in together. Sometimes all it takes is just a little bit of accessories just to make a room go wow, and that's exactly what we did. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Kimberly's Room Makeover. Big thank you to Aziza and her husband for allowing us in their gorgeous home in Oakville and helping create this space and making their marriage stay together. A big thank you to Sam and Melissa and Jenny Lynn and everybody back at the office who makes this happen. CJ as well. Without you guys, we couldn't do it. So stay tuned for next week's episode. Same time, same place. And don't forget, live with things you love.